Welcome back guys to my man Chelsea United Cray on FIFA 17 and look at what the month of November has in store for United. Up first we've got Porto, then we've got Brighton, Watford but it's the end of November where it becomes tricky. We've got Dortmund, then we've got Liverpool for the first time this season in the league and then we've got Wolves in the quarterfinals of the EFL Cup. Now December again, another tricky month and it's just full of fixtures. We've got the final group stage game of the Champions League against Shakhtar. Then we've got the trip to Stamford Bridge against Chelsea and the trip to the Etihad against Man City. What a month. Three massive points up for grabs here today. We are away to FC Porto. Probably say that Porto need those three points even more than Manchester United as they are yet to get a win in the group stages of the Champions League this season. If they do lose against us, then I think that's pretty much knocked them out of the Champions League. There is United's lineup. You'll notice that Valencia comes in for Damian. We've got Gamero Stein also. We've had so many injuries lately. Matter not starting in this game. We probably could have done him in the... Oh, wow! I really thought Neves had found the top corner then. That's going to be a United throw. And Kingsley Coman will let it roll. Let's see what we can do from this. We need that first goal. It settled things here for United. That's in for Gamero. Ooh. On for Gamero. Nice movement there from Memphis, who's done really well for us this season in the Champions League. Even got that goal against Dortmund. Here we go. Rojo on for Pogba. That's Herrera. Up for Kingsley Coman to slot it into the net. And he fails to do so. Casillas with a top save. Fastly approaching half time here. Gamero dodges that bullet, that challenge. That's through for Zander Herrera. That's a good cross into the box. Just looking for Memphis. Might be able to get another go round. Yun. The amount of problems this lad is causing us down this right side. It's unbelievable. He's found Danilo. Danilo's found Sergio and he just puts that over the bar. Typical United, isn't it? Always making things tricky for ourselves when it comes to the Champions League group stages. It's finished nil-nil here. Valencia can't quite believe it. We've had quite a few good chances on goal and yet we failed to convert them. But not to worry. We've got the trip away to Dortmund. Yeah, that's going to be tricky. And we've got the visit of Shakhtar. We need to win both of those games if we want to be qualifying for the knockout stages this season. Heading into our next game away to Brighton. This is how the league table currently stands. Ten games gone. We're currently unbeaten. We've got a six-point lead. Chelsea there battling it out with Spurs and West Ham. Swansea City in fifth. But how about Arsenal? They're in the relegation zone. They're in 18th. Only won one game this season. Ten games gone and they've only won one. What is going on there? Middlesbrough and West Brom join them. But you'll notice our next opponents, Brighton, are in 16th. No wonder Swansea City are up in fifth at the moment and really performing well in the league. Montero has eight goals to his name already. You'll notice that Kevin Gamero is in eighth with just four. He's getting there though. See if we can win the ball back here and, oh, and try and hit them on the break. Brighton now, it's Norwood. He's been presented an opening there, but he didn't take it. Smalling, oh wow, Norwood's turned Smalling inside out and it's 1-0. Just like that, it's 1-0 to Brighton. Could we be... I mean, I know it's only two minutes into the game, but could Brighton be the team that we slip up against and lose that unbeaten? Look how Norwood turns small in inside out. Only 10 minutes gone, but yeah, I'm still feeling pretty desperate here. Losing to Brighton, we can't allow them. Jesse Lingard, come on. Can't allow Brighton to get comfortable here. We need that equaliser. That's through for Herrera. Come on. Come on, Herrera, please. Oh, keeper saves Fellaini. You need to be poking that into the back of the net. Sure. It baffles me that we went in at half-time, losing to Brighton. Rooney. Yanazai. Here is Herrera. Oh, for crying out loud, this is ridiculous. Pogba. Let's give it up to Martial, who is back in the United side. On for Pogba. This is it. This is our moment. Rooney on the finesse. Oh, is it the crossbar? Herrera can finish it on the rebound, and he does. There is the equaliser. We certainly left it late in the game. 74th minute, and we've only just got the equaliser. We now have to dig deep and go and find that winner. What a chance, though, from Rooney. Hammering the ball against the crossbar. 
Oh, come on, this would be sweet. Gamero on for Rooney. Oh, Gamero, why didn't you run into that bit of space? That's okay, though. He's still got the ball. Keeper saves Pogba. Oh, he's gone down. It's a penalty. Absolute heartache for Brighton and Hove Albion. We are deep into Fergie time. And they go and concede that penalty in front of the United fans as well. We really need to be putting this into the back of the net. Pogba getting tripped up there. And the lads got booked for his troubles as well. Come on then. It's going to be Kevin Gamero to step up and score the winner for Manchester United. In front of the United fans. Come on. He does it as well. Keeper rooted to the spot. Oh, Kevin Gamero. You got to feel for Brighton and its fans here today. Kind of feel sorry for Rosenwar as well, as I'm sure he'll get some disgusted looks from his teammates as he makes his way into the dressing room now. I mean, when Brighton went in a goal up against United at half-time, they was probably feeling as though they could get all three points here and really spoil our day, but it just wasn't to be as Gamero scored that penalty. Now well, we're here at Old Trafford back at home. Looking to extend our unbeaten run even further with a win over Watford. Oh, here come Watford, it's Capu. Well won there, Pogba. He's took out Capu as well. He's probably, is he going to have to, is he getting back to his feet? He's getting back to his feet. No. He's going to have to go off. Pogba, I'm not sure what Pogba did there to him. It's not even a free kick. He's going to have to go off though, Capu, which is a shame. Even with some of the players that are missing due to injury. I mean, we do have Martial back in the side now, but we've got Mata still out in the next month or so. We seem to be performing just nicely. We'll go on a bit of a run here with Martial. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to hammer this one. And hammer it, I do. And it's gone into the top right-hand corner. It's Manchester United 1, Watford 0. What a move from Anthony Martial. What a way to return back from injury by starting in the lineup today against Watford and getting on the score sheet as well with a tremendous goal. Nice. So silky at the moment, United. Just what I like to see. Oh, look at this from United. Pogba back to Gamero. Gamero's going to go all the way around their defence and he finds the back of the net as well. It's United 2. Watford nil. Is there any way back into this game for them? I don't think so. Gamero with the sixth goal of the Premier League season. Held no prisoners and just struck the ball so sweetly. Oh, no, no. What am I doing? I thought Agallo was going to carry on running as I went in with that slide challenge. Fellaini knows what's coming. It's red. He's off. Just moments after scoring the second goal. We're now down to 10 men and we might struggle come the second half. If Watford can get a goal before half time, then they'll be thinking that they can get something from this in the next 45. Just give me the ball. Barami doing well here to hold off Valencia. It's not helping the fact that we are down to 10 men. And here come Watford down the right side. It's Jan Fran who's just full of pace, this lad. And he whips it in. And Agalo's made it 2 1. They have got the goal as well. Unbelievable. Just moments after we go down to 10 men, they'll certainly be thinking that they can get some at night. Here we go with Rashford. Put that through for Pogba. Done well. We've got the advantage. And the referee's going to stop play. It's Amrabat. And it's going to be a yellow card. Just so many yellow cards at the moment from this ref. Come on, Shaw. We need to go and get another goal. Certainly put Watford to rest. It's Gamero. Can't find his way through, but Pop again. Go on, Gamero. Keeper gets to it instead. Oh, is Gamero? Gamero's okay. I thought he'd gone down injured as well. That was a poor throw. Watford will be very disappointed that they couldn't at least get a, a draw from this game. I mean, we went down to 10 men. Fellaini got sent off before half time. They got right back in it with that Agalo header before half time. And I really did think that they would have uh, peppered our goal. And uh, really gone for it, hoping to get something like a point or maybe even a win from this game. But we held out, we defended well, and our unbeaten streak continues. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed. See you all in the next one.